Hi guys, sorry I haven't been posting regularly. Usually Tuesdays are my day to record material after ballet class in the empty studio, um, but all of my Tuesday ballet classes have been canceled, like consecutively, even today. So I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna make um, some tutorials here at home. So disclaimer, don't try to dance on a marble floor. It's not good for you, it's not good for your joints. I'm not doing anything like super demanding. I'm not gonna be jumping or turning. I'm just going to be going over some like basic um, placement things and small movements. So today's video is going to be about hyperextension, specifically in the legs. So if you are hyperextended or sometimes the word is hypermobile, that means your joints are just a lot more flexible than the average person. So, I actually used to be even more hyperextended than this, um, so I understand your plight if you're having trouble with hyperextension. So, as you can see, just by the way I'm standing, hyperextension means your knees kind of go backwards when they're straight. If you straighten your leg all the way, or what feels like straighten your leg all the way, and sit back in your knees and kind of lock them, your legs kind of go backwards, um, like flamingo legs. And while hyperextension seems to be like a new aesthetic goal, it can look very pretty, it can also be very dangerous and very difficult to work with. And if you're not careful, it can sabotage your technique. So if I'm a hyperextended person and I'm trying to stand in what feels like first position, first position feels like when your knees touch. You wanna keep your knees straight and stand in first position, but this is this is you with your knees straight, right? How can you get your heels together and still keep your knees straight at the same time? Well, this is not actually straight. I'm sorry to tell you this. I know this feels comfortable, and I know it looks really cool, and it looks really pretty, and I know that this might be hashtag goals, but this is not straight. And this is really not first position. This is like demi-second position. First position is heels together. And if you're used to locking your knees and jamming them back, this is going to feel like you're bending your knees and it's going to feel strange. But I want to emphasize that this is actually straight. This is straight and it's going to take some adjusting to get comfortable, but I'm gonna give you some tips to help you feel comfortable doing this. So if you are hyperextending, I can tell you right away that probably means you're sitting in your heels. If I do this, that's like extreme hyperextension. This happens the most when your weight is in your heels. So right away, that's not good. Because when you sit in your heels, you get these lazy kneecaps. I had a video about releve and a little bit in tendu talking about this kneecap muscle. If you're sitting in your heel, you are not using this muscle to lift up your leg. So how do we fix this? You have to transfer some of your weight out this way into your toes. You have to feel all of your toes on the floor. And when you do that, look right away, when I think about transferring my weight into my toes a little forward, this kneecap muscle lifts up. And this muscle is going to help keep your knee straight and supported because if you're hyperextended and not using these muscles and have lazy muscles here, it's unstable and it's very easy for you to injure yourself. So when you're getting into first position, make sure your heels are touching first. Then from there, straighten. Do not search for the comfortable spot in your heels. So sometimes it might mean you have to do a plie first to kind of find where it is. So heels together, do a little bit of a plie, feel your knee going like right over your first two toes and straighten, 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 but keep the feeling in your toes. You should always see this little kneecap muscle working. Look at the difference between sitting in your heel lifting. This lift also kind of naturally helps your turnout. Having straight legs in first position should always feel more like up, not back. So look, this is hyperextended. This is me sitting in my heel. I can actually take my toes off of the floor because I'm so far back in my heel. That's not straight. If I 
bring more of my weight over into my toes, now we've got a straight line. Now this is stable. Now this is going to keep you safe and lifted and it's gonna make your dancing so much easier. It is possible to hyperextend and still lift. So look, right now I'm sitting in lazy hyperextension, not lifting my kneecap. Weight is in my heel. But I can keep this same feeling, lift my kneecap, feel my toes on the floor, and automatically it kind of pushes your butt down too. So this ensures that even though you want to show off your hyperextension and your hypermobility, there's a way to do it safely. So you have to, you can hyperextend, but your weight has to be in your toes and you have to feel like this little cramp right under your butt cheek, sending, sending the feeling all the way down to the floor because this is no good. This is better. This is no good. See the difference? Weight in your heel, weight in the whole foot. Lazy kneecap muscle, lifting the kneecap muscle. There's also sticking your butt out when your legs are going behind you versus pulling it in, getting your weight over your toes. This is easy. Anybody can hyperextend when they stick their butt out like this. It's also dangerous. It's also forcing your weight back into your heels. But get your weight over your toes, over your toes, pull your butt in, lift the kneecaps, a little safer. So when you're starting at the bar and doing something like a tendu in first position, we all know that the heel starts the movement, right? Heel starts the movement, go, 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 and then you bring your toes last. Imagine you're drawing a line on the floor. So whatever line you drew to get there, follow that same line to get back. In fact, I'm going to use this line on my floor right here at home to help. So, heels together. Heels have to touch or else it's not first position. If you have to plie first, fine, do that. You're not sitting in your heels, okay? Straighten your legs, tuck your butt in, feel the weight in all of your toes. You should not be able to lift your toes off the floor. When you straighten your legs, it should feel more like an up and down feeling perpendicular to the floor. It's not a horizontal side to side feeling. Straight should feel up, okay? It should feel very up, very vertical. So when you do your tendu, Keep your heel right over that imaginary line in front of you. I know it's tempting that, oh, look at me, look at my hyperextension, and then you come back and um, you're not in first position anymore. So, right between your heels, imaginary line. Keep your heel over that line. That's the line you drew to get there, and that's the line you follow to get back. The line you drew to get there, line you follow to get back, okay? Keep your heel over the line, over the line, over the line, but you're still lifting up the standing leg. You're not sitting in it. Just because your leg went out doesn't mean you get to relax here. You've always got to keep both knees straight. Lifted, 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 over the line, over the line, bring it back, follow that same line. First position. You can follow that same rule going to the back. Think of your heels as the starting and finish line of first position. This is your starting position, and that's where you gotta go back to. You gotta go back to that same position. It's always heels. Everything is from your heels in first position. So, tendus and elisagona are a little more tricky because you don't have that invisible line kind of going down the middle of your body between your feet. Tendus to the side all have to be about feeling placed right over the standing leg. So I don't want you for even one second to put your weight back in your heels. You have to feel your toes the whole time. In fact, you can even test yourself and see if at any moment you can lift your heels slightly off the floor. Okay, so when you do a tendu, still feel your standing toes. I still feel my standing toes. Feel them, feel them, feel them. And then massage the floor on your way back. Heels have to touch. Heels have to touch or it's not first position. 
A lot of the times in Alicegon, what we like to do is once we release the leg, oh, look, look at my beautiful hyperextension. You let the knee go right away. Nope, can't do that. You still have to feel your weight in the toes. Can't let your toes go off the floor. You can't let your weight go back into your heels. So remember, this leg is doing up up the whole time, not back, not side to side, not front and back, it's only up and down. This leg is still up, it hasn't buckled back, it's up, 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 and it's gonna feel slightly bent if you're not used to it, but this is correct. This is not correct. This means you're being lazy with your kneecaps. You gotta always feel lifting right here, the lazy kneecap muscle, lift it up, lift it up. And then when you bring it back, massage the floor through demi point. Lift, 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 lift out of your lift out of your joints. You almost have to feel like you're trying to lift your upper body out of your hips, out of your hip bones. The taller you feel, the less likely you will be hyperextending. So always feel tall, always feel lifted, never keep your weight in your heels. Now, all of that being said, there is a time and a place to use your hyperextension. For example, in point shoes, it can look very beautiful. But you should not use hyperextension to enhance your dancing until you can dance with it under control. So that means hyperextension can't be your default. You can't just say, oh, lucky me, I have hyperextension, so I'm always going to use it. Because if you don't have your hyperextension under control, it can be dangerous. Controlling your hyperextension means always keeping these muscles active. Controlling your hyperextension means never getting lazy and sitting in your heels and letting these muscles go. So if you're naturally hypermobile, great, That's it looks beautiful, but you still have to do a lot of work to make sure things are safe and correct. So a little recap, if you're hyperextended and you're struggling with first position, this means you're sitting in your heels and you're not lifting your knees. So that means you gotta get your heels together. That's priority number one. Get more of your weight in your toes. And when you do a tendu, follow that imaginary line. Don't get tempted to just go, wee, look how hyperextended I am, and then ignore that line that you just drew. So it means a lot of active effort lifting up. Legs should always feel up, vertical, straight up and down, perpendicular to the floor. Your legs should never feel like they're doing anything front to back or side to side. It's not about being horizontal. Also, remember to tuck in your butt. If you tuck in your butt, it's easier to get your weight over your toes. This is me with my butt out. When my butt's out, my knees relax, my weight goes into my heels. When you tuck your butt in and bring your weight over your toes, it's so much easier to keep your legs lifted and straight. It is going to take a little getting used to. If you're so accustomed to doing this, and that feels like your knees are locked, then yes, this is going to feel like you're slightly bent. But look, this is a straight knee. This is not. This is a hyperextended knee. This is a straight knee. This is a straight up and down leg. This is a lazy leg. This is tucking in my butt and keeping my weight over my toes and lifting that kneecap and feeling straight up and down. This is me sitting in my heel and sticking my butt out and letting the kneecap muscle relax. Okay, so even though this is locked and feels comfortable, it's not straight. Straight means up and down. 